Hey YouTube, back with another video on how to integrate Arc Server Manager with uh, Discord webhooks so that you can get um, your notifications from Arc Server Manager when server is starting and stopping um, to display on your um, Discord server. So first thing we need to do is go to a new tab and I want you to go to ASM Discord plugin and the first link should be the one you need and it should go to this Arc Server Manager freeforum.net you can install the latest version of this plugin and you can get the latest zip right here then uh, before we unzip that on Arc Server Manager if you have a green box up here at the top left that says to update you're going to need to update to the latest version that's out this might be different since if you're watching this in the future but um, if it has a, a an update you want this to be the latest up to date as well as the plugin because there or won't work because I had the I had that problem um, so we're gonna extract this zip and all that's gonna be in here is a DLL and you just drag it out into your desktop and then we can go ahead and open the plugins tab which is a puzzle piece blue puzzle piece and add a new plugin and grab this DLL off the desktop and when you want to configure this, I had one already, but we're going to create a new uh, profile. And I'm just going to call this Nuke. In the webhook URL, we need to move to Discord. I have a test server set up, and I have a couple text channels. If you want a text channel, uh, text channel like Arc Server as a text channel, and then uh, don't let anybody type in this chat. You can go to like the server settings and do it, but you can go to um, server settings and then create a webhook. So go to webhooks here on the left, create webhook. I'm going to call this arc server status and I'm going to do it in the arc server channel and I'm going to copy this webhook URL and then save this. So we have the webhook right here. Then we're going to put this webhook URL in there. And I'm going to call this arc server status. And there's like six options for the actual Discord message. So, like, there's prefix message, which I want, uh, which just shows like what profile it is. So, like, if it's profile main server, it's going to say that before it. You can do text to speech, underline, embedded code. I'm going to do the embedded code block and bold um, others this is all up to you though uh, profile name I'm gonna click the one that is actual server so main server it's the only one I have at the moment then alert types I want the startup and shutdown and then I can press test and on the arc server you get the main server test startup message and then you get the main server test shutdown message. So just test to make sure that this works. That's not going to be what it says when it starts up. So I'm going to press OK, save, close, X out of that. And then I'm going to start this up again. And as you see, it says main server, the server is starting. Now, this is very limited because I actually have a bot on my server that I made. And you can actually integrate with webhooks um, from other websites. But I would say that I can make a better webhook configuration for Arc Server Manager. But uh, it's the, this guy's application. So I would have to rewrite some code. I would have to rewrite his open source project to be able to uh, integrate with back um, backend web webhooks on his actual application. So. I don't think I would be able to do that since I would have to learn his whole entire configuration on the back end. So, um, which kind of sucks, but pretty much what he has is, isn't is bad. I mean, if you want some crazy stuff, you might have to make something custom. But pretty much it says the server is starting, and then it doesn't say anything when it's fully started. It's just going to say it's starting, and if I stop it, it's going to say the server is stopping. So that's pretty much, but other things, like if it's backing up, it'll say it's backing up. So there are those other webhooks, but it's not going to give you crazy detail um, since he made the plugin. So, but if you want a tutorial on, on, my, on my bot 
I'm not gonna be able to do it with Arc Server Manager, but if you want to be able to do stuff like purge four, you can purge four messages. You know, I got like question mark astro. This is an API for the astronomy picture of the day from NASA. You know, just basic stuff. I mean, this took me like an hour or two to set up all these little like OW gives me my Overwatch profile or Apex. Uh, Oops. This gives me my Apex profile. Um, and then I have like this um, BTC. And you can put any, you know, thing for that, that, and it'll give you any cryptocurrency in the database or off that API that I used. So pretty much you can do a lot of stuff with this, make cool little web hooks, make co like Twitch web hooks. So, um, and I also have it to where it can play. So if I'm in this general chat and I do like play, I don't know, despacito. And then you actually join the chat. It'll say streaming despacito. And then I can actually play. So and I'll actually stream that music for you and it'll say what it's streaming uh, if you want I can make a video on how to do all that but that's pretty much with the bot but this is pretty basic so um, I'm sorry if it's pretty basic but I can't really do anything about it it's his plugin that he made for the application but if you have any questions leave it in the comments and if you want me to make a video on uh, how to make a discord bot I'll be glad to make it just let me know if you want to want me to make it alright see you in the next one